Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface on the live servers for Warlords of Draenor with the level 100 Brawlers Guild rank 4. A lot of people have been waiting for this one. There is a very specific fight coming up rather soon as I think I forgot some pots but never mind. And that is Nibbler. But uh, before we get to Nibbler we have to deal with some other stuff. First of all we've got Tyson Sanders. I wonder if he joined the army, he might be a colonel by any chance. And uh, Tyson's thing, bag, is to bring lots of chickens <laughs> into the fight. Now there are some exploding chickens, you gotta be careful of the exploding chickens. This is just bononkers fight, bononkers fight. Uh, you gotta be careful of the exploding chickens. Fortunately um, for myself, I've got a big 10 minute AoE pet which I can bring in uh, that seems to be dealing with most things. Uh, I've also got my tank pet and Mr. Sanders, well, he didn't really stand a chance. Melees, you got to be on the move for that fight otherwise you might get caught short a wee bit. Which brings us into the next fight and yes, I am starting some preparation here. Uh, dropping down a demonic circle, it's nibbler time. So what do I do here? Well I've got my 10 minute pet out immediately for this one, the single target one. And I've gone to the opposing corner that nibbler is in. I want to drag him into this corner and then charge across to the other corner and create as much separation as possible. If Nibbler stands in the goo that he's producing, this these pheromones that he's producing, or she, we aren't to know, uh, then they will start to go bigger and bigger in size, increase damage, they take less damage. So it'll just be an absolute nightmare. So I'm literally running to the other corner. As a, as a spellcaster, it is absolutely no point in trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and then move back gradually. Not at all. You need to create as much separation as you physically can and then try and drag it across as many safe areas. There you see, I'm going into the next corner mark that I can possibly get to. Melees are dawdling through this fight because they can do full rotations on the move and also uh, just just start to edge Nimbler back and forth. So, my hair back and forth. Uh, so they're not having too many issues. But spellcasters are having nightmares, and I mean absolutely nightmares, because the more stacks Nibbler gets, the less damage he takes, the more damage he actually does, and then he can get himself into some awful situations like him in now, where he's getting another stack or so, uh, but I've got him down to just under 100k, now he's got a fourth stack, oh, it just becomes a little bit awkward now, but I just, just managed to squeeze this one through, look at that, down to 46 odd K health myself. It was a real touch and go. Horrible, horrible, horrible fight for spellcasters. Um, unfortunately, uh, most of them will probably have to wait until they've got much better gear to return to that fight. So literally, moving from Nibbler to this fight is just, well, it's just poles apart. It's just an absolute, oh, it's like a wind down almost. This is so much easier compared to it. Now, this is Dominica. The Illusionist. And, or the, yeah, the Illusionist. And she's going to produce a lot of mirror images, which only have, I think, one health. They've only got a, 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 literally a squidging of health. Uh, but the more that come out, the more that can attack. So you've got to deal with it all. And the more that you deal with, the easier it is actually to defeat Dominica. So, yes, if you're any class, doesn't matter, melee, range, whatever, get rid of the the illusionist uh, mirror images burn them down and then you could just concentrate fire on dominica so you know warriors you're using whirlwind if you're fury spec and stuff like that or dragon roar wah, and just get rid of them that way get them all on top of you stacked on top of your face and then get rid of them uh, mages a little bit of a blizzard here and there wouldn't go amiss you know just gets rid of them uh, just trims them down a wee bit other than that, you know, I can do a pretty pretty decent rotation uh, on Dominica here. And the, gr the good thing is, because she's only got a million health, we've got two minutes per fight. It's not really a race against time either. Uh, so that kind of gives you that little bit of relief as well. But the Reign of Fire, even in its gimped, horrible, horrible format, where it does absolutely no damage, is a complete waste of space as a spell now. It also, of course, doesn't generate burning embers. You should be able to get through that fight with relative ease. Which now brings us to the fourth and final encounter of round four. Now we've seen this video 
before in another one which I did which was in the hidden garrison followers video go to my playlist section go watch for the hidden garrison followers which you can get for yours because meatball here is going to be one of them so this time I have got affliction because I still need to keep damage going up on meatball but I have also gone grimoire as sacrifice to increase my damage as much as possible meatball hits like an absolute truck doesn't matter if you're cloth doesn't matter if you're male doesn't matter if you plate leather he doesn't care hits like an absolute truck the way that you can get health back is by running through these orbs it heals you for a substantial amount and also puts a damage buff on you and you can see it's stacking as a debuff when actually it's a lovely big sexy buff you can get this stack up to 50 and i highly recommend that you do because meatball will enrage very early on in this fight and if he enrages again doesn't matter what you wear from cloth to plate he will probably one shot you and if he doesn't one shot you it will definitely two shot you so i ran around got 50 stacks of the debuff which is actually a buff and then just went and burns him down he gets to about 750k health and then he'll just explode <laughs> and we'll find little bort uh, inside of a lovely little uh, alliance mage. God bless. Uh, and if you do that, you'll notice there is now a quest uh, just to the next you, which is actually Meatball. Uh, you can speak to him. He'll then join your garrison as a follower. So there we go. Brawler's Guild, rank four, dealt with. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media as well as twitch.tv. All those links are in the description down below and I shall be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care everybody. Bye-bye.